Hey, Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today is Thursday, June 7th, 2018. And maybe I finally caught the tiger by the tail here. So I want to record it. Um, we'll see. The high in the market, we kept making high blue bar volumes. And I tried several times in front of that. You can see that I'm down seven ticks. Now this one will win. Like it'll win a little bit if it if it does work out today right now I'm gonna win a little bit um, I'm trying to protect the 1P area now I don't know if that's a good place to protect it but I really don't want to see R1 again so that's what I'm really protecting is R1 right now we busted through R1 and we bu busted through the zone of control that came back off of this level right here so um, ideally, I really don't want to see that market get above the 88 mark or so, uh, otherwise that moves done. Now, the next downward target in this trade itself, uh, this was um, 1P from the high of 66.07. So I'm measuring the high up here at 66.07 to 1P move from here. I found that to be a better way to take on the market when you're trying to figure out is the market going to move 1P or not? Well, measure it from the high. So yes, it has. It's moved 1P. So I, I definitely want to try to protect that area. And especially since we got really close to getting a 2P move down here. So once it turns over, it's a lot of times it, it's, it's a, it makes sense to move especially when you can find a, a point that that you uh, that, that you think, okay, if it gets above this level here, it's probably going all the way back up through to the new highs. So basically what I'm saying is if it gets back up here to R1 now and it fights it up through this zone of control, which obviously it can do because the market can do anything it wants to do on any given day, I, I want out and uh, I'll just take my small win and move on to the next trading day. But I'm in strong position right now and the the market obviously it you know, maybe it's not obvious to you but when you're in a short side trade that wants to move, you know, there's not much that can hold it back until you see lots of volume kick in on that red side. So it's an overwhelming blue day as far as volume goes. Um Here's my spreadsheet. So you have 41.42 at 10.13. You have 8.58, 36.25, and then overnight we had 11.92. And then uh, on the blue side, you know, you can see 19.15 or, or red side 19.15, 10.84, 9.37. So you can see now that does this is this is this minus that. So it's not combined. It's it's R1 versus B1. And then that's your negative. So right now, there's a negative deficiency of 2,227. So that's why you want to be short if you can find the right move. Um, so what am I looking for? Well, obvious, uh, not obvious. I should say, and I should stop saying obvious when I say this. But I, I, I have a target at 6,427 right now. Although I like 6384 as well. Now, as far as how far can that market go, what I can tell you is 6481 and our high is 6607. We've moved 5P. So what I can tell you is that we should be able to get a 3P move or two and a half from this level. So we should be able to get close to 37 and be able at minimum to hopefully protect 60. 61, 62, 63, uh, if it'll move. And that means it's got to move. And what we've found out a lot of times in, in trading crude oil, if you've been following it, me at all, is that the backfilling is just absolutely killing me. Um, but when you have the tiger by the tail in this case, when you're able to, to find a position that you can believe in, um, you can you got a little bit more staying power not a lot but just a little bit and right now that's what 12 less 7 is 50 less 5 so it was at 5 by 3 4 20 
20, 50, 30. So that'll be a $30 winning day, pretty much, if it knocks me out at 89. So <clears throat> the most I've been up during the day was four ticks. The most I've been down is seven. So I've been fighting back and forth pretty much this session, trying to find a decent trade setup. And I've been waiting on volume to get involved in the market. Pretty much, I would say every trade I've made today has been based on volume. At one point, I had two on. My first trade had two contracts, and I think it netted minus, excuse me, plus three. And the third one, uh, third trade made plus one. So I was up plus four, then I went down minus seven. So I had one loser at minus 11. And now I've got this trade on, which is going to be my win for the day, pretty much. Um, no matter how I look at it, this is, I should get 12, 11 ticks, you know, so even if it does go against me, I should end up with a positive day and move on to the next trading day. So we are trading now, right now we're trading, as I said, R1. So the, and we traded through the R1 mark. So the odds of it, if it doesn't want to go down, the odds of it going up higher to R1 to go to R2 become extremely great as the trading session moves on. So if it doesn't break down quickly, usually the market will have a tendency to go make new highs. And so therefore you want to be out of the market at that point. So you can see me debating about 89 and 88. So uh, I will keep you apprised about how this trade turns out. I'm going to pause for now. So as far as the setup goes, it was just a simple one, two, three. I, but then I used the high. So I see it saw the high at 66.07. This is the one I got knocked out at. I was in previous to that. This is where I took a minus 11 hit. And then I came right back in right here because it only went up one tick from 66.07 to 66.07. So think of it as a double top. It's a great shot in this market. I believe the double top, it can be a, a good barometer to take on a trade and then if it obviously goes back and makes a triple top the odds of it breaking through and going higher are much greater so you want to be exiting and out is what I'm getting at so taking some profit off the table when it's available and allowing uh, the market to find where it wants to go uh, it, it's a tough trade sometimes it's like do you hold here do you hold here do you hold down here you know this is too close to the market and this might be too close, and this might be not close enough. I, it, 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 at some point during your session, I, I believe that you need to make sure that you win the day just for your mental uh, 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 mindset, uh, especially if you've been fighting the market and fighting the tape, which I haven't been fighting the tape. I've just been fighting the market. The market has been wanting to go up, although it looks like it kept wanting to top. So at 8.58, go back here and look at 858 it looked like it wanted to top back here too but it didn't it, it kept going up and didn't show a nice signal it busted through and and it tried you know right in here you could say well no it didn't it went it went up it came down here and then it didn't break through the previous barrier so therefore it was not a good valid trade setup and this whole setup here it was just one big struggle right now now whether it can go up or go down i mean you just try to do the best you can in any given scenario and try to do the best you can that's all that's all you can do as a trader is is, is allow the market to dictate how you're going to trade it and uh, right now i can tell you that i mean ideally I'd love, I'd love to be able to hold up here and let the market run and that might be the smart thing to do. Um, but the odds of it, if it goes back up here to R1, the odds of it hitting up here at 6601 are extremely great. So, and going up to new highs. So I would prefer to get a little bit and move on. You know, I, I, I when the market wants to go down, honestly, there's not much that can stop the downward movement. It just goes. And there's really not much you can do uh, on, on it because they just keep running the stops along the way down. Uh, when it doesn't, then this kind of move happens where you find the market, you know, this might be the, the good time to be getting out. I would prefer to hold here, take a little bit less of a, a run, 
uh, and and take whatever I can get out of the market. So now we have a top here. So 84 plus 5 is 89. So now I feel a little bit better about holding 89 and taking 89. So um, going five ticks off of this is what I'm looking at. So if it goes up 84 to 89, I'm okay with coming out. You know, it just wasn't meant to be. The market, I never even saw it hit 89, but it did. Uh, hit it. Hit it. There it is. Now it's hitting it now for sure. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, I end up plus seven. I got a little bit more profit uh, on off of that trade because of a positive fill. But it, um, positive fill, and that doesn't happen, by the way, in, it only happens in simulated account. It, you don't get positive fill in in a real account. They, they just never give that to you. Um, if you get, you always get stopped at, at your target or, or greater uh, loss in that case. Or uh, you know, if it moves up, it always seems to fill you never at, at, at a positive like that. Anyway. You know, this is this is just the tough part about trading. You, you got to be willing to walk away at this point, because you're in no man's land, and you just got to be willing to. All right, it didn't break. What is what are the odds of it going back to here and higher? Since it didn't break one way, all it did is retrace a little bit, and and so this case. You got to remember what you're, where you're trading right now. Where you're trading at this point is in between pivot and R1, and we've already busted R1. So, you know, the odds of it going back up here through R1, up through, you know, probably minimally speaking up to 25 are pretty high. So, you know, it, this is just this minor retracement could have been the downward move that I was looking for. And yeah, obviously this market could could crash all the way down to here, and then I'll feel like a horse's ass because it does. But you know, you got—I don't know. I mean, you, at some point during your session, you got to say, "Give it to the birds. The birds have it. I didn't," and move on to another trading day. And that's where I am in my trading day today. Uh, obviously, you know, this is not the kind of days that I want and you know trading like I talked about before I don't want to start trading 40 for 10 um, but I want to allow the market to to dictate my exit this right here was 65 and it had to go up to 89 to take me out now maybe I should have held at 92 91 um, it's kind of a, a, mo a moot point at this point. You know, you think, well, it hasn't been able to crest the higher higher lows or, or, or lower highs or, or, or the pattern right now. And but overall, it's an up day. It's an up trading day. So you got to remember where you are as it relates to the market. And we're not trading pivot point to S1, we're trading pivot point to R1, and now R1 possibly to R2. So you got to remember where you are, and and it could just be simple stop running on the way up higher until it finds a point that it wants to finally sell off to. Um, I don't know. I mean, you just got to get comfortable with it at some point. And and my obvious point that I I have to work on is when enough loss is enough loss. You know, minus 30 ticks, minus 35 on the 30k account. That's enough. I mean, that should be enough loss in any given day on a normal um, daily range move that you're taking. Now, today I was able to take a 10 tick hit. Uh, or, or 10 tick stop and trade today and 10 could hold it 
uh, pretty much. And I could go 11, 12, 13 as well. But, you know, that, there it is. It's still freaking 90 holding. I don't know. You know, I, I questioned myself over and over about where to hold the break even, the, the stop. I mean, when the market goes so much your favor, it's hard not to take your profit because the trades that are going to run won't do this. They won't freaking backfill on you. They'll go and they'll keep going. Um, so this is the kind of market that will just kind of nickel and dime you to a loss, uh, a losing day. And so uh, what I'm trying to do, honestly, at this point is taking uh, using volume to precede any movement in any any type of uh, trade. So at this point, this is where I started to get active again. Uh, I was active back here, looking and doing nothing. And finally, after the second high blue bar volume, that's when I started getting active again. All right, so I guess I'll pause here and we'll we'll look and see how this finishes up later today. All right, so I've watched this for a while since last uh, I updated. We saw this, I saw this move. We saw here, we saw it go through here, back here. Um, I, like I said, it, the odds of it hitting that new high are pretty great if it can't fall through quickly at one point in time. So I'm going to wrap this video up and be done on my trading day. I hope you had a better day than me. I finished the day up plus 7, but I guess that's better than being down minus 30. So we'll see you on the next trading day I did put together. Bye for now.